I don't know whether I like you or not. I've had a letter from your friend. My friend? Yes, uh, your friend Robert. He wrote to me from the city of Mexico. To you? He wrote to you? Yes, to me. Why not? Don't stir all the warmth out of your coffee. Uh, drink it. Uh, though it might as well have been written to you. It was all Madame, about you, Madame Pontellier. Well, let me see it. No. No, no, a letter only concerns the person to whom it was written. Well, haven't you just told me it concerned me from beginning to end? It uh, was written about you. It says, um, Madame Pontellier would have liked this, or um, Madame Pontellier once said this, and once I think, uh, I remember the time you played the impromptu for Madame Pontellier and I, but, uh, you know, it's for me, not for you. Well, let me see it. Oh, no. <laughs> Play the impromptu for me. Mm, it's growing late. Don't you have to be home? No, time means nothing to me. Play the impromptu. But uh, you've told me nothing about yourself. So what are you doing? Oh, painting. I'm aspiring to be an artist. Think of it. Ah, an artist. You have pretensions, madame. Pretensions? What of them? I do not know you well enough to say. I do not know your talent well enough. I do not know your temperament. To be an artist includes much. You must have the soul that dares and defies. You must have the courageous soul. Well, what do you mean by the courageous soul? The brave soul, ma foi. The soul that dares and defies. Show me the letter and play for me the impromptu. You see that I have persistence. Does this quality count for nothing at all? It counts with the foolish old woman who you have captivated. 